Hey guys, I know, it happens, right? We're running late, I got home, forgot to pull the burgers out, they're frozen. Now what do I do? Today, I'm gonna show you how to take these frozen burger patties from the freezer to the Traeger and make them taste delicious. Let's fire up the grill, let's get cooking. So we'll go ahead and load it with our Ace Reserve blend pellets, and then we're gonna set the temperature today at 375 degrees. We'll go ahead and hit ignite, and we are good to go. Our ingredients today, that's right, frozen burgers. Now these are third pound burger patties that we got from our local club store and grocery store, the ones that come in that giant sleeve. These are frozen, rock solid. Next up, we're gonna be breaking in that new Traeger barbecue rub today. Then I love a uh, soft squishy bun. We went with brioche buns today. And then our normal accoutrement, we've got the lettuce, the tomato, the onions, and a little bit of cheese then maybe some beans as a good side dish. Let's show you how to get these seasoned. Okay, so we went ahead and removed the parchment paper from the burger patties and we've got them laid out here on our pan. Now, the great thing about this, one of my absolute favorite things about this recipe, that's right, no flip. We are not gonna flip these burgers. We are gonna leave them on the Traeger, cooking at 375 degrees for approximately 30 minutes until they are juicy, delicious, and absolutely wonderful, making things so much easier and a lot less cleanup as well. Now, got them laying out here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that burger rub and I'm gonna go ahead and put the burger rub on the top side of the burger patties like so. I'm not worried about the other side yet. We'll get to that here in just a minute. Now that we have the top side seasoned, I wanna push down in there a little bit, just getting that rub to uh, stick to those ice crystals. And then guess what? We'll give them a little flip here. We've got side number one seasoned and we'll go ahead and do side number two as well. All right, we're preheated to 375. We'll go ahead and add our last burger on there. Now, we're gonna set a timer, come back and check on these in 15 minutes. I estimate total cook time to be about 30 minutes, but we're gonna come back and check on them in 15 and see where we're at. Here we are right at 15 minutes, and as you can see, juices are already starting to come to the top. Guess what? They're now defrosted. So we're gonna go ahead now, add our favorite side dish if we want, then we're gonna close this, let it cook again, another 15 minutes before we come back and, uh, check temperature for the first time. All right, here we are right after half hour. Let me take temperature. We are sitting at 138 degrees. So now it is time to melt the cheese. We'll go ahead and do that. We're just gonna let them go for five minutes. We'll put that cheese there, but hey, also guess what? Time to toast our soft squishy buns too. Throw the buns up there, close the lid, let them go five minutes and I'll tell you what, the best part about it, no fuss, no muss, easy cleanup, no flip. Here we are right after five minutes and look at that, cheese is melted. So guess what? Buns are toasted, time to get those off the grill, time to get the burgers off the grill and I will see you in the kitchen. Yeah, from frozen burger patties to melted cheese, 35 minutes, not bad at all. And there's no cleanup. We uh, did everything on the grill, making this super, super easy and total time saver as well. Now, side dishes are also very important. So stay tuned because coming up, I've got my Traeger baked beans and Traeger mac and cheese.